Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Unbox Expedition. In today's video, we have another Baksu box. Let's jump into it. All right, well, once again, welcome back to another unboxing video here. Uh, I'm pretty excited for today's box. It's another Baksu box. And uh, it's gonna carry on with, again, the summer flavors uh, that we're seeing coming out of Japan right now. Uh, so this box is called Summer Fruits. Uh, so taking a look in here, it looks like a lot of things are coming once again from Okinawa. We got things from Hokkaido, Osaka. Uh, so I'm pretty excited for a lot of these snacks. And again, in Boxu boxes, you get a lot of uh, duplicates of different snacks. So that way you get to try them more than once and I'll be able to get them, uh, get to share them with Elena when she gets home. Uh, she won't be here today. She's spending her days in summer camp but uh, why don't you stick with me and we'll get this box unboxed. But before we do that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, check out our Instagram page, and keep your eyes on the uh, giveaway for July. We got two videos left. We have Bucks Who Box today, and then next week uh, we're gonna have, I believe it's Tokyo Treat, if I get it in time. Uh, there won't be a video for the end of July on the 31st, because I'm gonna be on vacation, uh, but that first box of August, which I believe is August 7th. You're gonna find out if you're the winner of the giveaway. There's still a lot of time left, guys. If you wanna join that giveaway, we're only halfway through July. So check out the links in our profile here in the about page on YouTube, or check the link on the Instagram page. You can definitely join and uh, give it a shot. All right, guys, I'll be back with you in a moment as I heat up my tea from this box, and you can check out that unboxing. All right, guys, let's get this box open and see what's inside.
Great, let's jump into some of these snacks. I'm pretty excited to get started. Um, so in this box, we get hoji, uh, sorry, organic hojicha tea. So this is another roasted green tea coming out of Japan. Um, should be interesting to try. I feel like I've uh, seen this package before, but I'm guessing Boksu uh, packs, packages their own tea bags and uh, they send them out so that way there's instructions on the back. I do get some teas that have Japanese instructions, so I don't understand how to make the tea, but luckily those snack guides actually tell you in them. Um, so I have, uh, again, the hojicha uh, green tea here today. I do have it hot, so this is what I'll be drinking. So you can definitely tell it's a green tea, very light and subtle flavor, not strong. You can definitely taste that roasted uh, green tea to it. Uh, apparently it's, it's not very caffeinated, it's very light caffeinated and uh, it's not very overpowering. So it should be good uh, for me to drink along with all the snacks that we have today. So why don't we jump in and get started right away. So our first snack, um, oh, it's pretty exciting. It's right at the front, but it's this really nice looking orange stick cake. So let me get this opened up for you. So you saw this already. This is the orange stick cake, nice and thin. The uh, plastic wrapping seems very thick. It feels almost like a rubber, which is very interesting. Get this opened up without making a mess. All right, yeah, you can definitely smell that sort of fresh orange. There's orange right in the actual cake. These are orange slices. It's gonna be interesting because it looks like the skin or the rind is still on it. So I'm curious what the texture is going to be. I'm hoping it's not too chewy or anything like that. So let me try and get this out of here. It's sort of stuck to the plastic container as I rip it in half. That's all right. So nice piece of orange here. Let's try that out. Hmm. That's not bad. Very light, refreshing, definitely orange, very soft and moist still, which is amazing. Um, it's not too chewy. I did eat the uh, sort of the rind in there and I didn't have to chew on that. So that's kind of nice. Hmm. Okay, so moving on, we're gonna stick with citrus apparently. The next one we have coming up is lemon pack soft cookie. Mm, this one. All right, so apparently this is very popular in Japan and Yamazaki Biscuits has given it to soft cookie twist. Fluffy cookies have a hint of salt that brightens a smooth lemon cream sandwich between them. A little salty, a little sweet, a little tart. All right, let's try this out. So I did get three of these so I can share. All right, this looks pretty good. So it is hot here today. I do have my air conditioner off so that way I can film and you don't get the sound in the background, but it's gonna heat up in here pretty quickly. So I'm gonna try and do this as quickly as possible, but make sure that I don't miss out on any details for you guys. So here is the cookie, uh, very soft, very squishy. Got a little bit of a cream in the middle. That's probably the lemon cream or filling that they give you. So let's try this. It smells delicious. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, it's good. Very light lemon cream in the middle. The cookie is soft, sort of like a, it looks like a macaron, but it's not. Very soft cookie. Delicious, I love that. Very nice, definitely goes with that orange cake that I just finished earlier. Okay, what's up next? We have some watermelon gummies. Um, these ones looked a little different than the last bag that I got in one of the other boxes and they look like they're coated with something. So let's take a look here. Is it coated with something sour? No, it's good, okay, it's dusted with sugar. So I'm not gonna get any sort of surprises in the sense that I think it's sweet watermelon and it's really sour. If I can open the bag, come on, there we go. perfect, mm, smells delicious, you get a good amount in there, if we can see that, and they do look like little watermelon slices, so you got the red, and then you got that green on the bottom, and they are definitely coated in sugar. Mm. Sorry, 
<laughs> really chewy. Mmm, those are really good. Amazing watermelon taste. I actually, I think I like those better than the last ones that I had. I think the last ones were round, watermelon flavored. These ones are watermelon shaped. They really do taste like watermelon. Those are really delicious. I'm excited to finish those. Uh, right, moving on is another gummy, actually. I got another interesting little shape. I'm getting a lot of candies in this weird sort of, I don't know what you call that, a pyramid sort of package sort of thing, but uh, interesting. These are apparently grape gummies. Let's try this out. If I can figure out how it opens. Oh, there we go. So the watermelon gummies actually were called Suica Watermelon Gummy. Um, so that's the name of the brand of this. Uh, let me go back real quick. Orange stick cake, lemon pack, yeah. I didn't miss any other brands. Wow, you get that burst of grape right as soon as you open this package. You can definitely smell that. So nice, flat, soft gummies coated again, I'm guessing in sugar. Definitely smells very great. Just like the, uh, I had great chews in the last box. Those were interesting as well. Let's see if these are more powerful or about the same taste. Yeah, I would say it's along the same taste, uh, same grape taste as the last chews. These are a little sour actually, it is not sugar. It is a sour powder on the tail. So you're getting a sour grape gummy, but it's good. I like how they nail their taste right on. You can definitely tell obviously what you're eating. It tastes like grape, it doesn't taste like some other random fruit or uh, different flavor. Okay, next up, I'm excited for this. This is interesting, this is called a uh, forgive my pronunciation. I'm sure I'm going to butcher a lot of these. Again, I don't speak Japanese. Uh, this is called Ko uh, Koronron Momotaro Sakupuff Chocolate. And apparently it's peach flavored. Um, so this is apparently a delightful puffed biscuit. Uh, very airy and crispy. A uh, little bit of a savory flavor to it. But on top is a sweet swirl of peach infused white chocolate. So I'm excited for this. Let's get this opened up. So this is the cute little package here. Little white one with a little, uh, I'm guessing that's a peach on the outside and some little characters. So I do have three of these again, so Elena gets to try this when she gets home. Pop that open. Okay, so interesting. A little square, a little melted. I did just get this in the other day. I was actually really uh, waiting on this box. I was hoping that it showed up for today and perfectly it did, so I got to, to film it today. I uh, might have had to film a different box ahead of Boxu. But you can see it's uh, white chocolate here, swirl of pink, so that's the peach. And uh, let's try it out. Looks pretty good. It smells, oh, it smells really good. Mm. Yeah. Mmm. It's amazing. Almost has that texture of those corn puffs that I'm, uh, caramel corns that I'm loving so much. It is uh, very airy in the middle, very crispy very light and that white chocolate with the peach infused it's delicious sometimes it's hard to describe the flavors that sort of mix in your mouth but um, I haven't tasted anything like this uh, here so definitely enjoyable hmm. all right it's interesting to try that tea with all these snacks to see how it sort of pairs with the sweet and the savory. So moving on, this is Purun Konjac Jelly. So again, keeping with peach, it's peach flavored, but it's that peach juice infused in a uh, Konjac Jelly. So let me get this opened up. There we go, so squeeze it out. So you can see the jelly comes off the top there. Looks a little bit solid, so let's try that out, see. Hmm, okay, interesting. It's chewy, so it's not like a liquid, like it's not a jelly or a liquid sort of scenario. It's a, a, a sort of a solid jelly. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's uh, as soon as you bite into it, it, it breaks and then you get that burst of that peach juice in your mouth. Uh, so that is sort of like the peaches wrapped in the jelly, if that makes any sense, but it's really good. It's really refreshing, very light. I'm tasting the peach. Um, that's really the only, the only taste that I'm getting out of this. Hmm. Interesting. Very strange texture though. 
Not used to, not used to chewing jelly. So that's a little weird. Okay, Mikan Mochi. So this is a uh, citrus fruit. Mikan is one of the sweetest citrus fruits. So I keep seeing different citrus fruits and I'm thinking it's either an orange or a lemon, but of course it's something completely different that of course you can only find in Japan. Uh, just like, uh, what is it, yuzu, citrus, uh, things like that, monacas, all that stuff. So let's try this one out. Let's get it opened up. Slight more bitter citrus keeps mochi from being too sweet. Okay, so this one might not be that sweet. So mochi again, rice paste, very squishy. Gotta be careful. Hmm. It's got some texture. Not sure if there's some of the peel in the mochi itself. Hmm. Not bad. Definitely not very sweet at all. It's not very overpowering, but you definitely taste the citrus. To me, in reality, it tastes like orange to myself. Um, very light, very subtle, but yeah, it's pretty good. Very delicious. All right, it looks like we're moving on to some of the more savory items. So let's jump into this. Let me just take another sip of my tea right here. Okay, so savory items. This is Aji Karuta Yuzu Chili Pepper Rice Cracker. So this I know is gonna have a little bit of heat to it. So we're looking at uh, Yuzu's uh, aromatic citrus fruit that pairs well with sweet, savory, and spicy. So it's gonna be spicy, sweet, and probably a little sour, but let's try it out. It smells good. So this is a roasted rice cracker. Looks pretty delicious. Got some black sesame seed in here scattered throughout it and it's got a flavorful glaze that starts off sweet before the heat kicks in. So uh, let's try it out, it looks pretty cool. Hmm, it's pretty good, yeah. Getting that chili flavor now in my mouth after that sweet, subtle uh, first taste. And then the pepper and chili sort of hits you at the back of your throat and then it sort of just creeps up into your mouth and then creates that sort of hot uh, hot sensation in your mouth. But overall the taste is very good, I like it. Very good, yeah. Hmm. Okay, Okinawa Shikwasa fried rice crackers and peanuts. So I feel I had something similar to this before because I remember trying to pronounce Shikwasa. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Very uh, strange uh, word to say. Um, but again, these are deep fried rice crackers uh, native Okinawan citrus fruit. All right, I uh, had another issue with my phone. It overheated again, so I lost a little bit of footage, so I'm gonna jump right back into it. Some things are open, but uh, let's get rolling. I need to find something better to film with. Um, anyway, these are the, again, Shikwasa fried rice crackers and peanuts. Um, so very light and fluffy, um, really interesting taste to them, very, lem very citrusy. The interesting part, is that it's salty and citrusy at the same time, very chewy, and there's chopped up peanuts inside of these little rice puffs. So it's an interesting texture. I really enjoy these. Definitely uh, better than the last ones that I had. So moving into this guy right here, again, I already opened it, but this is the candied yuzu peel. So it is the uh, peeling of the yuzu citrus fruit. Um, it's interesting, I don't generally eat peels or rinds of citrus fruits or candy, things like this, but um, this itself is pretty tasty. Very chewy, which is an interesting texture to it. And the thing with citrus, or the thing with yuzu, is it is a very unique taste. It is a mix of lemon, a little bit of orange in there, but then it has a very floral aftertaste to it. So it's very different. I've never really had anything like it here in North America. But now that I'm getting all these snacks and I'm definitely finding yuzu and these types of citruses are used a lot uh, more often. So I'm getting used to that taste overall. So moving into Hokkaido Akaniku Melon Anpan. Um, so this is really neat. Sadly, I've already opened it and taken a bite of it. <laughs> but uh, this is a cool uh, snack. So Baksu collaborates with local snack makers 
and includes their snacks in their boxes, which is really cool. Um, so this is one of their exclusives. Uh, you can see the giant bite I took out of it. But it's a very nice soft, uh, soft sort of shell on the outside. And inside is melon mixed with white bean paste. Um, so it's very tasty, it's very chewy. I'm gonna take another bite just to obviously enjoy it and uh, describe it to you again. Very chewy. Very chewy, builds a very thick paste in your mouth, so it's hard to talk whenever you're eating it. But I love these sort of infusions, whether they're taking the red bean and the white bean and they're mixing something in with it. So to get melon mixed with a white bean, it's very different, uh, but it just, it works really well. You just taste the melon. All right, and now we're actually moving into the final snack of this box. So I wasn't too far whenever my camera died on me. I was almost right at the end, but that's okay. So this is an interesting one. It's the biggest one in the box here. This is Otona no Otsumami. Um, so this here is a, another uh, crunchy rice crackers mixed with peanuts. Very popular with pairing with beer. Um, I really wish I had a beer. I didn't know I would have beer snacks with me. Um, I only have a tea, but that's okay. Um, so I opened this up and I was actually very surprised to find they weren't loose in the bag. You actually get, sorry for the noise. You actually get an entire tray of these little bags. Um, I actually remember getting two of these in the last box. I only got two of them, and they were the spicy ones. I remember because that surprised me. I didn't read ahead of time that they were going to be spicy. Um, so I got four more of these left. Um, so it's kind of neat that they give you a lot of those snacks. But this is lemon salt flavored. So again, very crispy, deep fried rice cracker. It's very hard. Very hard and crunchy. Hmm. The interesting part is they give you peanuts. There's peanuts in here, and it's weird because it's peanuts mixed with citrus. I can't think of anything else I've had that makes peanuts with citrus. If you think of something, uh, let me know. Give me a comment down below. If you think of something that mixes with these tastes or something that comes to mind whenever I was sort of describing them, let me know. I'd love to uh, read some of your comments to see what comes to your mind from what you've eaten. But uh, these are pretty cool. This is the last snack, so it was pretty enjoyable. Sorry about the uh, the cut there, guys. I uh, really need to get myself uh, set up with something better to film with, but right now my phone's all I have. So I'll keep using that. I'm going to keep an eye on the, uh, the phone to make sure it doesn't die on me again. But uh, yeah, I love these snacks. I'll be right back. All right, guys, thanks for joining me again for this unboxing video. Sorry for all the technical problems I had. I really got to get myself set up with something better to film with, but my phone is the only thing I have at this point. Um, anyway, these were great snacks. I appreciate you guys uh, sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed some of the commentary I had. Um, I kind of find my technical problems and things like that comical. I hope you do too. Laugh with me. I, 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 I thank you for that. Um, either way, I hope you stuck around for the video. Did you find the secret code again? Don't forget that July giveaway. Each code gives you an extra point, so find them all from the videos. Watch our videos, subscribe to the channel and the Instagram page, and I look forward to connecting with whoever wins. Again, no video on July 31st because I'm on vacation, but I will see you guys on August 7th. Take care and snack on.